Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. A sudden change in Ma and Pa Bloom's plans for their trip to Yellowstone Park was brought about indirectly by Mrs. Fink. Mama now wants to go to Hollywood. Her reasons may be vague to others, but to her, they're very real. Today, we find Papa Bloom in his office at the factory. With him is Sam, his partner. So, you see, Sam, I thought maybe a little vacation might be good. Huh? Look, Jake, I don't mind that you should go on a vacation, because for 20 years you've worked hard. Mm -hmm. It is right that you should take a little rest now. But, Jake, why do you leave me alone with those two? No, 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 Sam, none of that. Everything will be all right. Sidney is running the uniform part of the factory. Sidney's all right, Jake. He sells uniforms. But Harold Fink... And what is the matter with him? Not a word should I say about him because he's your son-in-law, Jake. Sam, please, if you have something to say, you should say it before I'm gone. Because when I'm gone, I don't want you should wake me up in the middle of the night with collect telegrams. All right, Jake. I'll tell you. I don't mind that Harold is here in the factory. Mm. Maybe we need young people. But I don't like a buzzer on my desk going buzz all the time. If Harold wants to see me, he should come to my office. Maybe I would even go to him so I shouldn't hear that buzz. Sam, now I'll tell you something. For 20 years, you and me have been in the business. Yeah. For 20 years, we worked in our offices like we should. Yeah. But we forgot one thing. What's that? That outside there are other factories. New things are getting themselves invented all the time. Maybe we should have some of the new things, like the other places. But, Jake, I can't wait in the office they gave me. Why do I have to get an electric clock? For 32 years, I have a watch that my father gave me. It is still running good. So why should I want an electric clock? Mm -hmm. I got a dictaphone. Sir, so I... Sam, do you like it? Well... Sam. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> so do I. Uh, have you talked on yours? No. Nobody calls me and I forget to use it. Maybe we should try it once. What? Look, Jake, I'll go to my office and buzz you. Then we will talk. Hmm? <laughs> All right. But don't let anybody see you. Wait here. I'll hurry. Don't worry. I'll wait. <laughs> Hello? How do you like it, Sam? What? Sure, sure, I hear you. <laughs> Without even calling a number, you got me. Yeah, yeah. I say, Pa, I... Oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, uh, oh, come right in, Sidney. Come in, come well, in. Well, I, I won't disturb you if you're busy. Well, I'm not exactly busy. Uh... You're talking, aren't you? Me? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I thought that Never you... Never mind what you thought, Sidney. Uh, <clears throat> you uh, wanted to see me? Well, no, I wanted to see Sam. I thought I saw him come in here just a few minutes ago. But never mind, I'll go and find him. Yeah. Oh, you better answer that part. <laughs> no, no, let it ring. <laughs> Maybe somebody's got a wrong number. <laughs> they can call back. I, I'm not in. <laughs> I don't get it, Pop. Somebody wants to talk to you. Why don't you answer the dictaphone? Sidney, I do not like dictaphones. I never did and I never will. Maybe it's important. Here, I'll answer. No, 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 I'll answer it. But you just said you didn't want to uh, talk. Let me get it. And if it's anybody you don't want to talk to, I'll get rid of them but, for uh, you. Hello? Who? Oh, Sam. What? Sure, I like the dictaphone. Sure. Fun? What's fun? Sidney, give me that thing. Now, wait a minute, Pa. But the... Hello, Sam. <laughs> wait just a minute. 
Hey, Pa, did it look like anything was wrong with Sam when he left your office? Why, why no. What should be wrong with Sam? Well, <laughs> I don't know, but he keeps asking if I'm having fun. Well, maybe he likes you. <laughs> you better let me talk to him, Sidney. No, I, wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> hello, Sam? Uh, what? No, I'm not having much fun. I don't get what you mean. What? I sound different over this thing. Say, this is Sidney. I don't... Hello? Oh, that's funny. He started to laugh, and then when I said I was Sidney, he stopped laughing and hung up. Sidney, I don't blame him for stopping laughing when you told him. Oh, I don't understand it at all, Pa. <laughs> Sidney, there are plenty of things you don't understand it at all. Well, it seems to me that I... <laughs> Excuse me? Hey, wait a minute, Sam. Don't run off. Come in. Sidney, I am busy with an order. I don't want you should bother me. I got to go. Sam, don't you feel all right? I'm never better in my life. I'll see you later. Well, what do you know about that? Uh, know about what, Sidney? <laughs> Why, he's acting awful funny about something. Didn't he look like it to you? Sidney, Sam never looks funny to me. Oh, I don't know. Did he ever act that way before, Pa? Now, look, Sidney, don't you worry about Sam. You should take care of the uniform department of the factory and let Sam to himself and me to myself and the both of us uh, leave the knee pants factory. Well, all right. I wanted to see him about a few things anyway. All right, then you'll go to his office. All right, Pa, I'll see you later. Oh, oh, by the way, what's all this I hear about you and Ma changing your minds about going to Yellowstone Park? <laughs> Sidney, the longer you know Mama... The more you will not ask me what is the reason for this and the reason for that. Mama knows what she is doing. And if she should not want to go where five minutes before she was wanting to go. <laughs> and that's all right, too. Sure, I just thought I'd ask. Well, see you in a little while. Yeah. And I... Well, hello, Ma. We were just talking about you. Mm, that's nice, Sidney. Hello, Papa. Mama, what are you doing here? Jake, I came to see you and your new office. Yeah, it's swell, isn't it, Ma? Well, I'll be running along. <laughs> Uh, he's such a nice boy. <laughs> sure he is. And smart, too. Yeah, Jake. Uh, tell me, what's the matter with Sam? Sam? Mama, nothing is the matter with Sam. Why? Well, I'm coming down the hall on the way here, and I pass Sam's office. He was poking his head out of the door like a Jake in the bag. Well, why shouldn't Sam poke his head out of the door if he wants to? A lot of people poke their heads out of the doors before they make the rest of themselves come out. I know that, Papa, but when Sam saw me, he poked his head back in like I was going to bite him, maybe. Well, maybe he thought you were Sydney. Jake, that's foolish. I don't look anything like Sydney. You don't? <laughs> of course, you're right, mother. <laughs> well, Jake, I've been shopping all morning. But sh Why, there's me, Mama. You don't have to tell me those things just like that suddenly, do you? You could come around to it easy, couldn't you? And spare me. Oh, yes, Mama, there's another thing. All of a sudden, you make up our minds we're not going to Yellowstone Park. No, no, why not? Because I don't want to go, Jack. Uh, Mom, I don't understand you at all. One, two, five days ago you wanted to go. Then all at once you don't want to go. How do you know you wouldn't like? I will explain, Oh, uh, no, no, no more. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> all right. Jake, I will tell you something that I want you shouldn't tell nobody else. Yes, Mama? Maybe I'm just a little bit jealous. You? Jealous, Mama? <laughs> no, not you, Becky. Jack, I'm only a humanity being... Like somebody who's perfect, I am not. But, Mama, what should you be jealous of? Why? Mm, maybe of Mrs. Fink. Of Mrs. Fink? <laughs> Mama, you know I could buy and sell more Fink. I know that you don't make up stories like Mrs. Fink so you can make yourself bigger than you are. So why should you be jealous of her, darling? Jake, always in the world there are people who have just a little bit more than the other one. Mm -hmm. Those people are nice people, sure. But just once in a while they like to make mountains out of mule hills. Mm -hmm. They like to tell other people about what they have that the other people ain't got. Mrs. Fink is like that. So when I say I'm just a little jealous of her, I'm being like a million other people. I want to have something, just maybe one little thing that she ain't got. She ain't been to Hollywood yet. So I want to go before she does. Mm, maybe you're right, Becky. Maybe when we come back, we won't have to listen so much to her, huh? Jake, when we come back, we won't be like that. We won't say, we went to Hollywood. You ain't been there yet, Mrs. Fink. But, Mama, I thought you wanted to say that, to make yourself feel good. And I will feel good, Jake, inside. Making a big noise outside ain't half so good as feeling good inside. Then when she talks, <laughs> I can smile to myself. All right, Becky, all right. <laughs> and we go to Hollywood. Uh, well, when do we start? As soon as we get everything ready. All right, well, there's some business I've got to finish before I go. Uh, maybe we'll leave in a week. Maybe. You know, Becky, I feel better now because Sam is back. Yeah. With Sam around here, there will be somebody who will be able to handle those two, Sidney and Harold. Me, maybe I'm not able to because they're my son-in-law. Maybe I like them too much. <laughs> Sam, he won't have to think about that. Well, that's good, Papa, that's good. <laughs> now you'll have nothing to worry you on our trip. <laughs> 
Deck is going to be just like a second honeymoon. Mm -hmm. Just. Where was the first one, Joy? But the first, the... Oh, oh. <laughs> well, no, no, then this will be the first. <laughs> Twenty-five years later, we have a honeymoon. Ah, well, Pop, it's like I always said. The longer you wait for something, the better it is. Like making blintzes. The more time you take making them, the better they get. That's how I came in. Papa, stop thinking about something to eat. <laughs> what was that, Jake? Oh, there's the dictus one. Wait a minute, now. Oh. Hello? Yeah? Well, what's the matter, Sam? Oh, you want to see me? Yes, I'm along. What? Uh, I mean, Mama's with me. Yeah, Mama, too. Uh, yes, always here. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful thing that is. <laughs> A year ago, I remember the tune Sam knocked on the wall when you wanted to see if the other one was in. Oh, Mama, a favor I want to ask you. Yeah? Uh, when Sam comes in, I want that you shouldn't ask him if anything is wrong with him. Is there something wrong? No, 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 nothing at all, Mama. Sam, <laughs> Sam just made a little mistake a few minutes ago, and I think he's hiding from Sydney. Why should he play games like hide and go stick around the new fence factory? Maybe that's what he was doing when I saw him. No, 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 Mama, you don't understand. Later, I'll tell you all about it. Oh, Roger, but I'm worried huh? about him. No, I'd no, like no, to know no, no, no. Sydney ain't in here, is he? Sam, can't you see? Just back you near him here. Yeah. Jake, just so much can I take. Then when I take that much, I am finished. Done. I go machine. No, you always have me for company then, Sam. With Sydney and Held around, I... Don't mention their names, Jake. Becky, how are you? I'm fine, Sam. Uh, but what's the matter with Mama, you? Mama, I thought I asked Yeah, you. but... Jake, one little mistake I made. And those two think there is something wrong. I thought it was you on the date before, Jake. Shh, I know that, Sam. I know that. Well, I went to my office. And Sydney and Harold came. They just look at me, like I was a fish in the battery aquarium. Sam, why should they do that? Who knows why those two should do anything? They asked me how I was. They were so nice about it. Yeah, they're such nice boys. Maybe they're worried about you, but Sam. I don't want anybody to worry about me. Me, I can worry about myself. I do all the time. Now I'm worrying more than ever. Jake, I've got to tell you something. I don't want to... But they are making. Quick, Sam. Quick, quick. What's the matter? You're driving me crazy while you're talking to me like that. Quick. Jake, those two, those two slimmies. Yes, they, yes, they, yes. And no, no. They have talked me into retiring from the business. Oh.